Hi viewers, welcome to Penhouse.in. In this video, we are going to see a short review on Candide Desire Fountain Pen. And with this pen itself, the, a free cartridge is coming. And these pens comes with a decent box like this. And in the box itself, you can find some important details about this pen. So here, this is a solid black color one, which has a Desire 5.5 nib, which is a medium flex tipped one and here this is a complete black color body and cap which has a silver clip and a silver two rings on the cap the brand's name candid was engraved in the clip portion and the cap held on the body with twist mechanic uh, thread mechanism and here this is number 5.5 nib with the medium flex tip you can swap the nibs as you like since we have number 5.5 nibs in many brands and with fine medium broad flex and again with gold dual tone and with silver plated nibs also and uh, for that you can go to our site and click pen splash then go to nibs and there you can use a filter and make a query on what you require and now to the diameter of this pen the diameter of the holding area is 10.6 mm and now the body is 12 mm and as this the uh, holding area is a bigger one this pen is more suitable for adults who have bigger fingers and now the length of this pen is 121.1 mm and with cap it is 139.3 mm and with this diameters and length you can get some idea about the uh, Hold, holders like pouches for this pen if you maintain this properly with the pouch and all uh, this uh, same aesthetic will maintain forever and now to the ink filling system in this pen is we already saw there is a cartridge here the con oh, yeah now this is a converter so this is not the normal converter this is a special one which has a bigger hole and a thread in the um, top so this converter won't switch to any other normal pens and normal converter like uh, a small tipped or normal converter won't switch this pen this converter will come only on candy desired model and for ink fill you can twist this in the anti-clockwise direction the piston will move forward and dip in the ink and pull this back so the ink will be filled up this portion with a good quantity and now on pen maintenance please wash the pens regularly that is twice a month because uh, all the dye based ink like our pen housing, brill, silica, data and on all um, they will uh, precipitate on the longer usage so it will block the ink's passage in the feeder so we'll get a scratchy writing and slowly the ink will dry quickly and then you may have to shake the pens for the ink flow to come out so the reason is the blockage in the feeder screw so to clean the deposits and dirt please remove the feeder and the nib uh, by holding this together and twist and uh, open by screwing this and open this and after removing you can soak in the soap water for an hour and then you can brush and clean with uh, your you know if any brush normal toothbrush or any brush and in some ink bottles if you can notice on every fill it is recommended to clean the pen with water so it is clear unless otherwise we have a good cleaning and maintenance the flow will be affected and now on the nib few nibs need to be fine tuned because during the manual assembly of nibs the tines may stick together so gently push the tines up and down so it will create some space in between the tines so it will get a, a smooth writing and the very good ink flow and whenever we dispatch the pen to our customer we do this fine tuning and we will check before dispatch and here now i'm going to give the writing sample of this pen for today's writing i'm going to use our pen house violet color ink Wow, really smooth. Wow. 
wow lighting so good and as this is a flex one you can uh, refer for a good flex videos in our youtube channel and i'm just giving the uh, width of this nib if you fill the ink properly in the barrel you will get a very good ink flow and yeah if you have any query about this pen you can ask in the comment section or else you can make a call to our mobile number thanks for watching this video thank you